Good morning, third grade. This is Ms. Fogelman here for your math lesson. Let me share the screen with you so that we can get started. Today is November 9th, and we are working with adding and subtracting large numbers. Our learning target for today is that the student will be able to apply the open number line in order to complete an addition task. The student will also be able to round the numbers to see if their answer is reasonable. Reasonable means that your answer could make sense in that question. All right, so to connect the content, this year we have been using a number line to add small numbers together. We are now going to use that same open number line to add larger numbers together. All right, so before <clears throat> I'm going to read the, um, let me grab my pen before I start that. Okay, so I'm going to read the word problem and then we're going to estimate our answer before we get the actual answer. All right, so we're going to estimate by rounding first, then use the number line to answer the question. Use the estimate to see if your answer is reasonable. Sue made $435 mowing lawns all summer. She also made $177 helping at her father's store. How much money did she make all together during the summer? So that word all together helps us to understand, are we adding or are we subtracting? All together means that we are adding the numbers together to find out what her total income or how much she made was for the summer. Before we do, let's go ahead and do our rounding. 435, now our options are, does 435 round to 400 or 500? So we look at 435, we look at the three, now remember that middle number, we have a 400 on one side, okay? And then our middle number is 450, right? And then our highest number is 500. All right, so is our number in this area between the 400 and the 450, or is it in this area between the 450 and the 500? If we look at this three right here in the tens place, three groups of 10 is less than five groups of 10. So this number would round to 400. Okay. And the number 177, Okay, the lower 100 is 100, the middle or benchmark number is 150, and the higher number is 200. All right, so is 177 here between these two numbers or here between these two numbers? All right, well, let's look at this number in the tens place. That's seven groups of 10. Well, seven groups of 10 is more than five groups of 10. So 177 rounds to 200. Well, if we add 400 and 200, we get 600, okay? So if we do 400 plus 200, we get 600. So that is our estimate. So if our answer is not a in or around 600, we know that we don't have an, a reasonable answer. All right, so let's do our number line to add these two numbers together. Remember, this is an open number line, so we can start it and end it wherever we like. I'm going to start mine with 435 because that way I have less that I need to add together. Okay, and remember this is money, but it doesn't change how we answer, well, how we work out the problem. So if I'm starting at 435, I now have to add 177, okay? Because our, our equation is 400, 
35 plus 177. Okay, so 435, let's start with the hundreds place. 435 plus 100, okay, is 535, okay, and 535 plus, now 70 might be hard to add all at one time, okay? So you can always break that number down into adding 50, then add 20. You could add um, 20 and then add 20 more and then add um, 20 more and then add 10, however you'd like to break it down, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add 20, okay? So that takes me to 555, right? And then I'm going to add 50. So if I add 50, this actually causes us to cross that next 100. So if I add 50 to this, it actually takes us, so 550 plus 50 would be 600 plus five is 605, okay? And then what I have left, because here I added the 70, 50 plus 20 is 70. I now have this seven left. So I'm going to add five because I feel like seven might be too hard for me. So I'm gonna add five, which takes me to 610. And then I'm going to add two more because that's what I have left to make seven. And that is 612. All right, so our total amount is 612, okay? Now, 612 what? All right, so our total amount, because remember this is $435, okay? 177 dollars, which then gives us 612 dollars, okay? So, whoop, it's hard to make my money symbol with this marker. All right, so our total is $612. So Sue made $612 during the summer with her two jobs. Now, let's look back at our estimate. Our estimate was 600. That means our answer needs to be a little less or a little more than 600. Is that true? Yes, 612 is the actual answer. So we can be pretty sure that our answer is correct because it's very close to the estimate of 600. All right, so let me clear off my board, get my mouse back, and there will be an addition word problem in Shobi, and I want to see you use the number line to complete the problem. Um, I also want you to show an estimate before you complete the problem. So there'll be two parts to this um, question. In closure, today we learned how to apply our knowledge of number lines to add larger three-digit numbers. We found that a number line can be useful no matter how large our numbers are. All right, so that's all for my lesson today, but don't forget to get into Shobi and do that math assignment.